This is the world's longest login streak in Adopt Me. A total of 2,000 days owned by Jake Prasner. So let's go and investigate how this player has played Adopt Me every day for over 2,000 days, which is the world record for the longest login streak possible. Before I show you a 2,000 day login streak, let's start off with a 28 day login streak, then a 500 day login streak, 1,000 day login streak, and then 2,000. This player has a mega neon bat dragon, no potion, no trick, and literally the rarest pet to ever exist in the game. Having a pet with no tricks and no potions is the rarest thing you could possibly get in Adopt Me. And bear in mind that their login streak is only 20 days. So let's go and ask them for an inventory tour to find out what sort of pets does this player have. If they have the literal rarest pet in the game, what else might they have? Well, that was a silly question, wasn't it? Of course it was. What in the actual world? What? No! Why do they have so many? How- how is that possible? I- I thought they'd have one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bro, I only have one regular Shadow Dragon, and this person has more Megas, no potions, than I have ever seen in my whole life of playing Adopt Me. I didn't even know that you could be this rich. What in the world? He's trying to go and make nine Mega Neon No Potion Shadow Dragons, and he's actually gonna go and make it himself. I'm pretty sure it'd be easier to trade for it. And we also twin with having a matching Mega Neon Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon. The player is actually trying to go and do a trade with me right now. Honestly, I've got no idea. So let's actually ask them how did they get so rich, as honestly, I have no idea how it's physically possible me play. Bro, I play Adopt Me as well, but I am not that rich. So apparently they've played since 2019 and they make mega pets. Now we've seen a player with a 28 day login streak. I can only imagine what a 2000 day login streak might have. This player has a login streak of 524 days. Somehow they have a giant lure box which has two lures on the inside, which I didn't know was possible. I just found this arrow and it's pointing to sit on this. So let's go and join them and see what is here. It seems to be a secret location that features a locked up treasure chest. I'm not sure if this is part of the house, but it's cool. They have a grave with a mega neon hawk. That is slightly concerning. I've just sent them a trade request to find out what type of pets this player has. This is the mega neon hawk they have. They also have a toasty red panda, a neon seagull, which again, I have never seen that before, and a ride vampire dragon. This mega neon hawk is definitely the best pet, so I guess if you play Adopt Me every day for 500 days straight, you might just go and get a mega neon legendary, but obviously mega neon legendaries are really hard to come across. This Adopt Me player's login streak is over 1,100 days long. They seem to have a basic house, but what's inside it? Wow, it's actually really nicely decorated. I've never seen a house this small decorated this nicely, with a grinding area, which seems to feature everything in a very compact location, allowing you to go and grind and age up your pets quickly. And in here is a gaming room, which seems to include a computer and a microphone. I just asked to see their rarest pets. Now they've got a login streak of over 1,100 days, which is over three years of playing Adopt Me Daily, and they're gonna show me some of their favorite and rarest pets. I guess they've got some old pets that came out when they first started. They have a neon owl bear. That's actually a pretty cool neon to have. Oh, and a neon phoenix. I do actually love this pet. A neon spinosaurus. This one's no potion as well. A mega highland cow. That's kind of cool. Also a neon ladybug and a neon snowball. I've actually never seen a neon snowball in game before. So I guess if you play Adopt Me every day for over a thousand days straight without missing a single day, you're gonna have some pretty old legendary pets. You're gonna have them in neons. You're gonna have some mega neons. 
And the fact that they've got Mega Neon No Potions actually makes them rarer. And they've got a nice selection of old and new pets. Oh, they even have a Mega Rock? That's actually a big flex. I don't think I've actually ever seen a Mega Rock, to be honest. Wow, they have a bunch of Mega Neons. This is the world's longest login streak in Adopt Me, which is the world record for the longest login streak possible. So let's first of all ask for a house tour to find out what does the house of a guy with 2,000 days login streak actually look like. This is the main room, and it's nothing fancy according to Jake. It does however feature all of the most expensive items that any player can put in their house. Such as this giant shard which makes you have anti-gravity which just gives you a giant jump. Or the age matic that allows you to transform into a baby even once you're already in the game, allowing allowing you to go and swap over. Very strange item. We gave him one buck. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't need it though. Let's find out how many bucks do they have? I mean, they've played Adopt Me for a long time. Only like 15,882 bucks. That's still quite a fair amount of bucks, right? I mean, from your daily login streak, logging in every day must give you a pretty decent amount of bucks. Okay, so I actually don't have the Safari egg registered in my journal. So I'm gonna be really cheeky and ask if I can actually get this from them. So the Safari Egg is one of the hardest eggs to come across because it's really old and everyone simply hatched the egg when it originally came out. So I'm going and getting this egg and I'm going to go and instantly give it back to them. The only reason I wanted this egg was so it can go and count in my journal and this guy surprisingly trusts me enough, which means I now don't need to have that egg anymore. And we can simply just go and trade them the Safari Egg back. As this egg is extremely expensive and I should definitely not touch this thing whatsoever. There we go. Here is proof that I did not scam the player with the world's longest login streak and steal their Safari egg. Are they really rare? It's like the rarest thing possible, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the rarest egg in the game because literally everybody hatched it. If you got an egg, you hatch it instantly. Do you think there's less blue eggs or Safari eggs? Now that is a good question. Oh, they actually have a blue egg as well. Are you kidding me? There is no way. There is no way. That is exactly what I need for my inventory. I need it. I just need to see it in a trade to register it. Safari eggs, you could buy as many as you want, but a blue egg is one per account for doing a quest. To be honest, I'm not sure I even knew that. Honestly, I didn't even know there was a difference and you had to do a quest. I thought everyone just got a pink egg. It was in the time machine quest. Okay, that's cool. Now another really rare item is the broken egg, which is a strange food item, which is kind of just for display purposes. I don't even know what this thing originated from, but it's just a food. But I'm pretty sure you can't even go and eat this food. Neither would I recommend eating it since this is a legend. Jake is kind enough to literally let me go and borrow his blue egg as well. So not only does this player have the world's longest login streak, they also have some crazy items, which has helped me to go and complete my infantry. So let's go and give him back his blue egg, since I literally only needed it to register it for my inventory. And now we can go and give this item back to them, which was obviously that. Is the original premium something still rare? Premium what? I, I don't know. Oh, there's a bunch of tags. The original premium monkey. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, the monkey box. The actual box? Oh, he's got an actual premium monkey box and a golden gift. Wow, that is impressive. I have the regular monkey box, but I never thought of saving a premium one. Honestly, I don't know how people spend Robux and never open these things. Like, that's really impressive that this player has really rare old items that they just didn't open. They said, just don't click on on them. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Let's ask Jake what his favorite pet is, as honestly, I don't know. This guy has been on every day. It was the Mega Shadow Dragon. Of course it is. Of of course it is the Mega Shadow Dragon. The player with a 2000 day login streak wants a Mega Shadow Dragon. And I'm pretty sure Jake was actually kind enough to just go and give away his Mega Shadow Dragon to someone for free. A good friend of mine 
has the Mega Shadow Dragon. This guy is literally the kindest Adopt Me player that I think you will ever meet. Imagine just getting a free Mega Shadow Dragon, and he doesn't actually know if they still have it. I hope they do. I really hope that that player still has that pet. I'm pretty sure Adopt Me gave them a 1,000 day login streak prize. Oh, apparently Adopt Me didn't give them a login streak prize, but one of their friends just simply gave them a Shadow Dragon. I really wish that I would get a free Shadow Dragon from one of my friends. I've just asked Jake for anything that he wants to share, since this guy might be the most wise adopt me player ever since he has literally played the game every single day for over 2000 days i'm pretty sure this guy knows everything about adopt me and apparently he has his own youtube channel as well let's do a tour of jake's house the house is slightly decorated, and when Jake started building, there wasn't any fancy build tools. Nothing to allow you to group, scale, or use custom blocks. Jake's also a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, and made this awesome build back when build tools didn't even exist. Which makes this even more impressive. Let's find out what is the best pet that they still have, since this person literally gave away most of their pets to their friends and they don't have many left. They've got a few pets such as a giraffe, a nice full grown giraffe that matches his carpet, a few kangaroos. We love to see a good old kangaroo. Oh, a lot of monkey kings and a ninja monkey or a neon owl, a neon parrot, some sharks. This guy still has a lot of good pets. Is that a neon skelly rex? A neon turtle? Oh, a neon flamingo. You don't see those often. Wait. Is that a neon hedgehog? You barely ever see that pet. That is that is a big flex. Having a neon hedgehog is really cool. I always wanted to go and get a neon hedgehog. The dude didn't even know that it was rare. He just said it's interesting. They even have a neon Santa dog, which is now a Dalmatian, but... Look at this dude. Look at the Neon Hedgehog. Now that is a pet that you don't see every day in Adopt Me. A very old rare Christmas pet. And look, he's even got it going and doing tricks. I've never actually seen this trick on a hedgehog. It just zooms forward. Wait a second. You can actually ride the pet while it does the trick. And it yeets you all over the place. I have never seen that before. What? It's a very fast hedgehog. Yeah, it's like Sonic. Honestly, I didn't know that you could ride ride a hedgehog and it would do that trick. That is kind of hilarious. If there was one thing that Adopt Me could add, what would they like? As honestly, I'm intrigued. This person has played Adopt Me every day for over 2,000 days. They've seen every update, they've seen every event, and logged in every single day. They want cameras in the house with a monitor or traps in the house. Out of anything, that is what he decided to choose. So Adopt Me, if you're watching, keep note the fact that the player who has played every day for over 2,000 days requested something pretty simple, which honestly, I'm surprised about. And they're gone. Just remember, it doesn't matter what pets you have, as long as you have fun playing the game. You need to watch this video next, where I show the best trades in Adopt Me. Click here right now to watch the video.